Hi, welcome to the Digital Yacht How To video series. In today's video, I'm going to be looking at how you can enter waypoints and routes on our Smart Attract 2014 uh, navigation software. So let's run the program. And uh, now, with let's just accept that. Um, so, what we can do, um, we can either enter individual waypoints or we can build up complete routes. So, let's start off with waypoints go to the waypoint uh, menu um, now I've not got any waypoints in here at the moment so I'm just going to add a few so let's let's zoom in to Benbridge and and we'll just put a couple of waypoints here so for instance if I wanted just to put a, an approach waypoint here um, I'm going to pop one about there I can just right click on the chart and I can add a waypoint at this point and it's going to give me uh, a chance to put in a name so I'm going to call this one Benbridge Approach and I can change the icon so I can have that as uh, let's make that um, now you'll notice here um, that there's lots of different uh, tabs here so uh, what SmartTrack does very well is it can actually mimic the same exact same waypoint um, icons that you have on your uh, chart plotter if it's a Navionix based chart plotter so for instance here I'm looking at Lorentz HDS if I've got a Raymarine CRE series it will give me the uh, CRE series icons if I've got uh, what other ones have we got here Fruno for instance uh, it gives me the uh, option there. So if you've got a particular Navionics based chart plotter and you want the icons to, on Smart Attract to look exactly the same as those on your chart plotter, then just select um, from the uh, tab for the relevant chart plotter that you have. I'm just going to go back to the standard sets. So I'm going to set that as a little, uh, what should we put? We'll do that as, a, uh, as that icon there. Um, and then if I want to edit the position, if I've got a particular lat long that I want to enter, I can enter that in, in here. Uh, but I'm quite happy with that one. And also here, if I want to put some notes, you could put here, uh, great um, approach waypoint for all states of the tide. There we go. Um, and I'm going to store that uh, so it's actually saying me at the moment that the waypoint display is currently disabled so it just means that waypoints are, are not shown so I'm going to turn them on and now you can see my little waypoint there if I click on that it brings up the uh, option to edit that again if I wanted to but, so that's one waypoint created I'm just going to create a couple more let's put another one here for instance uh, add waypoint and I'm just going to call this one test and we'll hit OK to that. Um, so now I've got two waypoints and if I go to the library it will actually show me those two waypoints that I've got there. And so if you could, you know, you can gradually build up a whole set of, of different waypoints that you commonly use. Um, and you can also export, save these waypoints so you can actually save these to a file on your chart cartridge and then you can, depending upon the chart plot that you have, some of the chart plots will actually read those waypoints straight into their memory so it saves you setting up those waypoints on the chart plot so you can do it all on smart track and then uh, transfer them easily across to your chart plotter. <coughs> so that's um, how you uh, handle waypoints. You can um, you know, turn those on and off as well uh, if you want to. Um, these are the options for, for loading them to the plotted cartridge. Um, you can also send them via uh, NMEA to a, another device as well, uh, but that needs you to connect a, uh, an NMEA cable um, to the actual uh, chart plot that you want to send them to. So that's really the, uh, the main features of the waypoints. Let's go to routes now. Uh, I'm just going to zoom out slightly. Um, so if we wanted now to do a, a, a simple route, um, I can just go create route and I'm going to select from there 
and it's asked me if I want to use the Benbridge approach in the route and I do so I'm just going to hit yes uh, and I, I'm now going to use my test second test waypoint click on that again it asks me if I want to use it in this route I do so that's how you incorporate existing waypoints into a route just put the cursor on the waypoint and it will then give you the option to to put those in alternatively if you uh, haven't got a uh, if you want to put a uh, waypoint in this particular route that's not already been defined you can just click there very easily um, I can do another one over here and another one here and you'll see that as I'm adding these waypoints it's working out the bearing and distance between them so you've got a constant uh, running uh, display of, of the distances and bearings between the waypoints once you've reached the end of your route you just right click and select end route and so that's it very simple uh, five leg route there entered very quickly um, I can now um, if I want to, to uh, extend or delete the route so if I want to extend it if I want to put a sixth waypoint on just click there and it automatically puts the line in so there we go we've got the sixth waypoint and again end end route just right click and then select end route I can reverse the route and now it's now labeled this from waypoint one two three four five six um, I can also if I wanted to insert a waypoint so say for instance we wanted to uh, go a little bit wider around this nav aid here I can just right click on waypoint 4 and it gives me the option to add a route point after this point or before it so I want to add one after that uh, sorry before that and now it's got this sort of rubber band type approach where I can just put the cursor over there and it will automatically change put an extra waypoint in and change the bearing and distances so that's how you you edit a, a route um, you can also if for instance we wanted to remove that um, well we can we can move that waypoint or we could uh, delete that uh, route point delete this route point only and there you go it's it's straightened out that, that route there between the the two waypoints <coughs> Um, so that's really um, the the way of entering uh, routes into Smarter Track. And again, once you've created a route, um, it will be in the library. So you've got a complete list of all the routes you've created, and it breaks it down into all the different uh, route points in that route. And there you go. You can see that my my uh, waypoint there, Benbridge Approach, is, is included in there with its name. Again, you can you can load these, uh, you can save these to to disk, um, and also you can store them, or uh, you can save this to a, an SD or a CF card for you know chart cartridge card if you want to transfer it to your to your plotter. So lots and lots of um, powerful features in the waypoint and route uh, facilities of Smarter Track. Um, and if you've got a, a dedicated chart plotter that uses Navionics charts, then Smarter Track is a perfect planning uh, and accompanying um, tool to to that chart plotter. Um, so I think that's that's about it on uh, in terms of the, the route features. We will talk about in another video um, doing tidal analysis on a route. Um, uh, but for today, that's all I'm, I'm going to cover in this video. Thank you very much for watching.